Hello everyone, this is Elf Angel from Elf Angel's Creations. Uh, welcome to the herbal live chat. Sorry, just grabbing some water. Um, so this herbal live chat basically is, uh, I used to do these a lot before and uh, I stopped doing them for um, almost a year now. Um, but basically what they are is we do uh, a live chat every every uh, few months or so uh, with my herbal students and uh, because a lot of the herbal students are oops, are interested in herbal medicines and things like that because it's spring and we do one in the fall. Well, we do one for every season. So spring, summer, fall, winter, whenever, whenever I, I can do it. But tonight I'm working on my herbal medicine, so I thought, you know, I'd chime in with you guys and see what you guys are up to and show you a little bit about behind the scenes at Elf Angel's Creations. And, uh, you know, tonight I'm working on the category Ancestors Wild Herbs. So tonight I am working on some herbal medicines. I'm working on the common dandelion medicine. Now the common dandelion medicine in my culture, in a Plains Cree language, we call it Jaja Musagan. Now I, I do know it's known by other names as well too, but the way I was taught it was called Jaja Musagan. Um, and the reason for that it was given its name uh, from what I was told anyways years ago is that basically it means uh, a sneezing powder so what I mean by that is get an example for you guys here So these uh, white flowers here that everybody, um, you know, is known, you know, blow your wish kind of thing. Um, these are actually can be used as a sneezing powder. So what you basically do is you take the, the heads once the dandelion is starting to seed. You take the heads and, um, you know, basically make them into a powder as much as you can. And you sniff the powder into your nose. And that will basically make you sneeze. So it helps with uh, headaches, migraines, um, sinus problems. Uh, allergies um, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff that it works with so that's just basically the that's the medicine of the flower head and that's why it was called in Cree Jaja Musagam which from my understanding of it uh, means sneezing powder now somebody else out somebody else out there might have a different interpretation of it uh, which I would love to learn but um, the elders that taught me that the name of it unfortunately passed away years ago, so um, That's as far as I know with that part of the herbal teaching So what I'm doing tonight here is I am separating the, the flowers the leaves the stems and the roots of the dandelion of uh, and I am Getting them prepared for oops, getting them prepared for herbal medicines that I'll be making throughout the summer. Um, no promises there, just because I'm. I noticed that I'm getting really busy this year, and uh, I haven't really had time to, you know, work on the herbal medicines that I love to do, because I'm traveling so much. But I'm home for a few days that I know of, maybe a few weeks. I don't know. So I thought, you know. I might as well work on one of my favorite medicines, the dandelion, and get to know it again. Oops, because I haven't worked with dandelion for, oh gosh, over two years, something like that. A year, maybe. Like, I drank the dandelion tea, um, but I actually haven't uh, worked with the actual medicine um, for over a year. So... For the herbalists out there, you know how it is. Um, 
you know, when you don't uh, work with your medicines for so long, you have to basically brush up on the knowledge and uh, the knowledge and uh, skills, you know, the herbalist part anyways. Kind of like that old saying, use it or lose it. <laughs> but in this case here, I am using it. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about the herbal, um, the herbal remedies of the dandelion. So we talked about the flower there. Um, the leaves are um, mostly used as a diuretic. Um, and... Uh, they are mostly used for um, the liver. So if you have liver cirrhosis, if you have a fatty liver, if you're detoxing your body like I am uh, from chemicals, metals, things like that, that, that are in our environment, um, the leaves are great for that situation. Um, you basically take the leaves, clean them as much as you can, and uh, you know make a tea out of it. And you could eat it raw, Forgot to mention the whole dandelion. Um, the whole dandelion plant is edible, non-poisonous. So you could eat the the roots, you could eat the leaves, you could eat the stems and the flower heads. When the flower heads are in their yellow state. Now, just like the uh, the bile on a liver is yellow, and the solar plexus area, in uh, the chakras, which is near the stomach area is yellow, that's how you know the medicine is used in that area. So I always tell my herbal students, if you don't remember all the specifics of the medicine, exactly how it was used and stuff like that, um, just look at the colors and look at the shapes of the medicine and then the medicine will be able to talk to you from there. As I'm doing this, I realize too, there's another medicine I have to go pick soon. I don't know if it's too late because I know a lot of the, the spring energy is just going fast here and summer is coming around. Um, is the violet medicine, Northern Bog Violet. I still have to go pick, uh, so I have to find the Canada Violet. And if I'm lucky, I'll find a yellow wood violet. Which is rare in my parts, but not impossible to find. And by talking about those three different violets there, the Northern Bog Violet is a purple flower. The Canada Violet is a white flower. And um, the Yellow, the yellow uh, Wood Violet is a yellow color. So even though they're all violets, they all do something different. They all uh, work on different chakras. They work on different parts of the body. Now, if for those of you that know your chakras, you would know that the yellow is the solar plexus. Um, white is usually the um, the crown chakra, so to do with the head, you know, to do with the mind, things like that. Um, the solar plexus, which is the yellow, it's to do with the you know the internal organs, you know the stomach area, intestines, liver, you know all that stuff. Um, and the purple one is to do with psychic abilities. It's the third eye, so to do with psychic abilities. It's to help with uh, psychic hearing, um, you know, help with dreams, help with, um, you know, making your dreams come true kind of thing. So that's a bit about um, how those uh, violets work. Now I have here, you guys can't see it, but I have here a bunch of... Um, roots and uh, other debris of um, grass, grass and such, and um, no, uh, nothing goes to waste, everything is used for a purpose, and uh, the grass, the grass is basically, any kind of grass that you come across they're all used for protection and any kind of roots you come across even if you don't know what the plant is all roots are used for protection as well too and healing so I'm just clearing off whatever little debris I have here collecting any small roots and leaves I may have missed they're all very valuable 
And um, if you're watching, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Carrie Carter, for picking these wonderful medicines for me. Uh, I know you worked a lot of hours um, getting these medicines out of your yard and uh, donating them to Elf Angels Creations, the Ancestors Wild Herbs Program. So I'm very, very grateful. Because like I said, that um, I didn't get a chance to pick my own medicines this year. Not as much as I want to. But I'm very, very grateful that you were able to donate them to our little um, company here. Now these debris here that are sitting around are going to be used once I clear the dirt off and all that. Once I go through it, the roots and all that are going to be used as a protection medicine as well too. Especially for the vehicle because, um, you know, as we all know, um, deer season is coming around and that's a perfect time where you want to have protection in your vehicle. Um, especially if you have no smudge in your area or you can't smudge around, you know, your area or whatever. Um, I know sweetgrass is one of the medicines that are harder to get right now because they're not fully grown yet. In our area, anyways. Um, so that's a perfect time to have other alternatives uh, to protect yourself. And protection is very, uh, very, very important. So I'll be making a protection uh, pouch for my vehicle so that I do not hit any deers or animals. Um, I think I may have hit a tiny bird earlier today, but I'm um, when I was driving back from Lloyd Minster, but from what I felt, I didn't. <laughs> um, I didn't check uh, in front of the vehicle and stuff like that, but um, from what I felt, I did not hit the bird, and uh, but I said, uh, you know, a sorry, of course, and. Uh, the bird basically flew in front of the vehicle and, uh, you know, I was really scared that I was going to run into it, so, but I, I don't think I hit the bird, but I was, I was going to show you guys these really cool, so the dandelion, um, for those of you that know your dandelions, the dandelion roots can get very, very long, like as you see here, uh, that's the longest root, oh, sorry, we cut out there for a second. I'll see what the chat says here. Hello, Wyatt. How are you? Um, let's see here. Hello, Jackie. Oh, I don't know how long this thing goes to get. Anyways, I usually get back to people after I'm done with the videos. But yeah, um, this is called a taproot. For those of you that are wondering, um, basically what a taproot does... Um, is that along the along the root here, you have uh, tiny little rootlets that grow from here, and those tiny little rootlets rootlets they collect water and they collect nutrients and things like that in the ground, and um, they basically grow like this in the ground, and when you pull on the medicine, um, you have to keep you know pulling on the root kind of thing. Sometimes it'll come out, sometimes it'll break. Um, and I know those of you that do not like like dandelion and uh, other herbal medicines that grow in your area because they're considered pests, um, that's the last thing you want is for the root to break. Like in this case here, this here is a, a part of a root and when the carry pulled it out, the bottom part of the root broke. So that was letting her know there that, um, you know, yes, I'll let you take some of me out of the ground, but you're not going to get all of me. So what basically is going to happen is that the rest of the the root that's in the ground there is going to keep growing and it'll, it'll sprout up a new plant again so it's kind of like um very wonderful for us herbalists in that way is because we always you know have medicine when we need it kind of thing um and what i was talking about in the last live chat that i was doing is that um i'm purposely going to be growing uh dandelion um in a flower pot and uh you know give it a try but i'm hardly ever home so i don't know maybe i'll do it maybe i won't this year but I know one of these days I want to do it and, uh, you know, grow it in the flower pots and uh, let it sprout, basically. So that way, um, I always have dandelion when I need it to, especially in the winter months. So 
I know it's uh, instead of going to having to order dandelions, dandelions online, I rather uh, have something that's homegrown kind of thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna be talking. So I talked a bit about the root there. I talked about the flower. I'm gonna talk about the oops. I talked about the leaves. Now I'm gonna talk about the stem here which I am going to be showing you guys here pretty soon. I'm just in the process of getting the leaves off. Now, every part of the dandelion is uh, used for something different. They're used, um, you know, the leaves are used for some uh, different medicine. Um, the roots, of course, are used for something different in the body. Um, the stems are used for something different in the body. So it really gets... Uh, when you really go more into herbalism, you really understand that it's not just a, a one, a one system kind of thing for the plant. Um, I know in our Cree culture, everything is done by four, especially in the male-driven part of the of the ceremonies, and um, with uh, with most medicines, there's four different. Uh, Four different sections and four different uh, meanings and four different uses of the medicine. Not just one. Well, there's more than four usually, but the four main ones, I should say. Four main. Four main uses of how to use it. Okay. So I'm going to. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is not my favorite part of doing. Um, working with the herbs, um, you know, to take the flower heads off and separate the leaves and all that stuff because uh, when I do this, I kind of feel the pain from the um, from the medicine itself. So I have to remind the medicine that yes, I am taking you apart, you know, dissecting you, but it's for not just for myself. It's for um, clients and things like that that need certain parts of the medicine and that the medicine was given to me for a reason kind of thing. So so I'll talk about this with the stems. So I got here for so far four stems. Um, there is a herbal recipe I found online that you take 10 uh, stems of the dandelion and you basically put it in cold water. So I got that ready here in the background. Um, not this one, but another uh, more water in the background. Um, but basically you, you, you take the 10 stems and you soak them in cold water and you soak it overnight and uh, I'm going to be doing that tonight and as you do that the next morning uh, when you have your your medicine basically that you made um, you drink the, the tea you know and you sip the tea um, you know throughout the week basically um, so I would advise you know four days of the week um, if you're really really sick um, they definitely go for seven but I would advise four days of the week anyways and uh you know sip it um for those four days and basically it becomes a spring tonic for you so what that spring tonic does is it works on your internal organs and um you know gets your digestion going it stimulates the liver it stimulates the gallbladder the spleen um you know the stomach intestines all that stuff and uh really detoxifies your body so it'll it will make you pee a little bit more but um, that's a good thing is because as you're peeing you're actually detoxifying your body so any metals any chemicals any substances that are no good for your body will come out um you know through your uh through your urine and so i'm going to be using that uh, making that tonight as well too so that way i know that if there's anything i've eaten or if there's anything that I may have touched or you know picked up along the ways in my travels that's no good for me at least I know that the dandelion medicine here um, I should call it by its Cree name here Jaja Mustagan um, is able to detoxify my body and to, uh, you know basically clean clean my body and let me know that you're gonna be okay I'm here to look after you grandchild so, um, Jacha Musagan is very powerful. That's one of the very powerful um, ways you could use it, you know, to help you uh, become a healthier person. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna continue what I'm doing here because um, a lot of these uh, stems and, and um, flower heads and all that stuff are and the leaves are starting to uh, dry out and they're starting to turn a bit of a black color because they're starting to slowly dry and um, so I gotta try and work on this medicine as fast as I can tonight you know to separate it make sure it doesn't go moldy and all that that's the last thing you want for your medicines to go moldy um, and rotten so I want to work on these medicines tonight get them prepared for tomorrow let them dry uh, throughout the week and if I happen to travel and things like that um, then I, I, ha I don't have to worry about that my medicine back at home is going to be rotten by the time I get home because again that's the last thing you want um, so I'm going to let these uh, dry tonight as I'm done and I'll have my spring herbal tonic in the morning and for the next four days to come and I'll be able to show you guys the results of this of the detoxification you know how it's helped me in my life kind of thing and the spiritual results as well too of um why the why jaja's jaja musagan was uh you know given to me today it's anuch which means today um the last thing i i want to tell you guys about uh jaja musagan here is that whenever a medicine comes into your life um even if you don't understand why that medicine came into your life for a reason, is it because a lot of the times it wasn't meant just for you. Uh, a lot of the times it's meant for um, other people that need it. And then, of course, you, you have a trade or however you want to do your trade with that uh, client who needs it, um, depending on your needs. Um, but I, I do know, like with uh, Jaja Muskan here, is that uh, it is used for cancer because I know... I know for a fact that some of my cancer patients are going to be coming to see me soon. Um, again, asking about, you know, I recently had chemo, I recently had radiation, I recently, you know, went on these pills, blah, 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 blah. And um, I need something that's natural that I can detoxify my body with and, um, you know, ease the pain and things like that, the suffering. So Jaja Muskan is one of those medicines that can help in that regard. And um, so when this medicine was given to me today, I knew for a fact that there's going to be clients coming to see me that with liver problems, um, with cancer problems, with detoxification again. Um, you know, people needing to help, you know, with their weight loss and, and other organ, organ damages that they may have had. So, I'm very, very grateful for Jaja Muskan for coming into my life. And, uh, you know, that's why I posted earlier that if you guys do not want your dandelions, um, definitely pick them for me if you can. And I'll pick them up in North Belford and um, Lloyd Minster whenever I get back there. And I'll pick them up, get them off your hands. And then um, I forgot to mention too that because there's like a big pile of Jaja Muskan here and that it is starting to wilt fast. Um, if you guys can, please uh, freeze dry it for me. Um, and, uh, you know, that way when I pick it up, I, I know it's still fresh. And that way I, I know it's, um, I can work on it right away like I'm doing now. And then I can, uh, you know, utilize it in my herbal work make the herbal medicines and things like that because one thing I want to definitely make um, this week is a uh, um, an ointment using the uh, dandelion because I notice that a lot of the oils a lot of people don't really um, utilize oils as much as I thought they would um, and again it's because of a lack of education and things like that too but I do know a lot of people love working with uh, the ointments that I make. And, uh, you know, 
uh, they definitely have great results. Of course, a lot of the results are private because uh, everything I do is in private and confidentiality. Um, so that's why it's, you don't really hear about how this medicine worked, how that medicine worked, you know, all that stuff. Because a lot of the clients want to be kept quiet, which I totally respect 100%. So it's kind of just like going to your doctor, you know, you don't want to go to your doctor for whatever reason and then all of a sudden your doctor is talking about it to the public. That's the last thing you want. So I totally respect uh, private and confidentiality in that way. Yeah, so I don't know who this client's going to be that's going to come and see me this week, um, especially in the next four days here. Um, that has uh, organ problems or has cancer or has liver problems, especially gallbladder, um, you know, a person who needs to help with weight loss, a person who needs help with depression, needs help with realigning the chakras. Um, but definitely Jacha Musagan was given to me for a reason. And I know that the medicine as I'm working with tonight is going to be calling that client or clients um, to where I am and that they're going to you know, explain more of their situation and how they need help and all that stuff. So I'm quite excited for that. Quite excited. Um, the roots that I've uh, gathered tonight, which is a nice, nice, a nice pile. Um, I'll quickly lift it here if you guys can see that. So there's a nice pile over here. Um, those are going to be, uh, those are going to be uh, strung up tonight. <coughs> strung up tonight and uh, getting ready to dry for the next few days here um, next few weeks I should say sorry um, and those are going to be utilized to make uh, a homemade a homemade um, coffee so for those of you that are interested in learning how to make your own coffee using the dandelions um, I could definitely share that recipe with you. Just private message me and I'll share the recipe and, you know, let's get our natural, um, let's get our natural medicines uh, back in our, back in our systems again. And uh, the reason why I do these videos again is to help with, um... okay, hey Sarah. Um, Oh, perfect. You have lots. Yes. Um, the reason why I do these videos, again, is to keep up with culture and to let people know that, um, you know, there is spiritual people like me out there and we are willing to share um, publicly when we can. We don't share everything, of course, but we share what we're allowed to share um, and everything we do is done through ceremony. So even tonight, as I'm doing these videos and stuff like that, um, I asked the medicines, you know, do you want to be known? Do you want to be, um, you know, talked about kind of thing, especially in the public? And the medicine gave me permission to do so because the medicine wants to be honored. The medicines want to be remembered by our nations so that we're able to, you know, run to them when we need help. Um, we're able to help to heal ourselves and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the medicines, um, that's why the medicines asked me you know, to share the herbal knowledge and things like that with people, um, you know, whenever I can. And uh, I forgot to mention too, if you are going to be donating any kind of herbal medicine um, to Elf Angels Creations, uh, category Ancestors Wild Herbs, um, please, please do not use any chemicals on the medicines. Um, I will not take any medicines that are sprayed with chemicals and pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and all that stuff. I like to have everything organic and everything that is um, chemical free because it's not fair for me and it's not fair to others if uh, you know, I give them um, an herbal medicine and if it's sprayed with a lot of chemicals and stuff like that and the client gets sick, um, then I get blamed for it kind of thing. So. I'd rather have all of my herbal medicines and all that chemical free. Um, and then all the medicines I do utilize are put through ceremony. And, um, you know, nothing is, uh, is just done. Um, nothing is just done, uh, you know, 
kind of on a spot kind of thing um, without a ceremony taking place first. So, so here's a little bit of the stems I was working on. So I definitely have more than 10 there as you can see. I'm going to be making the, the herbal tonic here soon. And uh, you know, definitely going to be us using that tomorrow in the next four days and you know, showing you guys the results and all that stuff and how Cha Cha Musican is changing my life for the better and how it has come back into my life for a reason and I'm very, very, very grateful again for that and I'm excited to find out who the clients are that are going to come see me this week. Um, like I said, I'll be home for a few days that I know of, so definitely catch me if you can kind of thing. <laughs> Because um, after I'm here for a few days, I'll be most likely going back to Lloydminster again uh, for another week or so. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, you know, I'm here for a few days for those of you that need me, whether it's an in-person reading, whether it's uh, herbal medicine you need, or healing. Um, definitely, you know, call out to me, inbox me, text me, call me if you need. My phone number is area code 639 five three six zero one seven four and i'm on all social medias facebook snapchat twitter tumblr instagram my website is www.elfangelscreations.ca um so there is more than one way to get a hold of me and i believe i'll end this video so thank you guys very much for showing up i'm gonna check the messages um private messages here that were sent to me and uh, I'll definitely be doing another herbal video soon. And this video here is going to be posted on YouTube as well too. So that way people on YouTube have, um, you know, they have the knowledge out there too. All right. So thank you very much, everyone. And hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi to uh, Jaja Musigan. Thank you so much for sharing your sacred knowledge with us. And um, we'll see you all soon.